Hello everybody and welcome to some Portal 2. Now, I picked this game up today and I thought I'd do a little playthrough of it because this game really makes you use your brain and I thought it might bring some funny moments of me just being absolutely stupid. So, basically I didn't really play much Portal 1 but I know the basic concept of the storyline. Basically you're in like a, a chamber and you go and put through loads of tests and then the robot who, who's like putting you through his test called GLaDOS tries to kill you and then you destroy her at the end and then you get like dragged away back into a facility so I guess this is carrying on from there. I do not know, I haven't played this campaign yet but we'll see. Hopefully that's how it's going to go. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 15 oh. days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Amateur right. Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer... Alright, so I've been asleep for 50 days since the first one, I guess. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, oh, look easy. down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There's a framed painting on the wall. <laughs> gymnastic. That was very gymnastic. This is art. All right. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Ah, I was enjoying that. Okay. Good night. Good well, that was fun. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine. Hello? Anyone I hope... there? Whoa. Hello? Are you Stephen Merchant! It's ah, Stephen ah, Merchant. Dog, dog. You legend. You um, good. Oh. Good, are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm actually <laughs> sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all he's saying. Prepare. Oh, Stephen. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. Alright. I'll hang on to this. Oh, right, crap in hell. Can you hear me? This looks really old, so I must have been asleep for like nine years or something. That's crazy. This is wrecked. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive Richard. deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, <laughs> I'd hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Oh, uh, it's so witty, the dialogue. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just right. You just jumped. But never mind. Say Apple. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. <laughs> that was really clever how the game made me jump and then like cooperate with the dialogue. I like that. Okay, look, Hopefully you guys can hear it. I'm gonna like try balance the audio so you can hear me and the voices. So the dialogue is hilarious in this game. So of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. Oh my god. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, uh, why should you tell me anything? Oh. Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? But I love space. Uh just, just gotta get through here. No. Okay, I just got to concentrate. Oh. And whose fault is it going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 vegetables? He's going to get me killed. Vegetables? All right, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. <laughs> Yeah, the reason I got the subtitles is up, up is so you can actually okay, hear the dialogue if my voice is too loud right? and talking if over it. Asks, and no then you realise the dialogue is very important. Asks, tell so I'm going to try not to speak know, over it. The last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. Ooh. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. 
There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh shit! That is not a docking station. So there's well one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a <laughs> manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Oh fuck! Remember, oh my you're god! For a gun that makes it's going to get me killed. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. I think I'm familiar with the portal gun since I'm the same woman from the war. You know, I may have minor go. brain damage. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state oh, yeah. to run oh. this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, I got a um, portal to your At least you're a good jumper. Yay. So you got the that jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Yeah, I'm a jumping. We. Okay, Hello. Stephen. And again, welcome to oh. the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Oh, this is the original. Is this a, this is a test chamber for number one. Of potentially apocalyptic we start off. Beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These same clipboard as well. These messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural right. collapse. The portal environment. The emergency <laughs> testing will begin in three, two, one. And just like number one, my journey begins. Same woman. Oh, weapons are all wrecked. What's the proof? Whoa, weapons are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. Alright, those grill things are annoying. Okay, so we begin our journey into the wilderness of portals. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material <laughs> emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. There's a cube, there's a button. Alright. Ah. I got it. I got it. I guess I've pressed this one. Ooh, that was easy. Simple. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we're currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, Please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. These new lifts are weird. Early jump. Mm, loading screens. Well, this is entertaining. It's pretty much the same as Portal 1 so far, which is pretty good because that game is insane. I mean, this game is all about the dialogue, how witty the characters are. They keep it enjoyable even though you try, you're struggling to work out puzzles. puzzles. Animal King, ooh. Hey, you made it! Okay. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Wait, Steven. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Alright. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Where is it? Alright. Oh shit! Bollocks. Oh my god, that's scary. Steven, help me. Yeah, I'm alive. Ah. Here we go. Shit's about to go down. These are drawings of me. From number one. Yep. Defeating GLaDOS. That's me. Did it, 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 did it,
Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. 